what is up people world of electricity here this video is going to be about soldering station versus soldering iron which is better which you should get and a few precautions with soldering and also at the same time a few tips let's get started a few precautions to take while soldering the devices reach temperatures anywhere between 400 degrees to 1000 degrees therefore they could set any flammable substance on fire or if they touch wood or cloth or anything like that they could set on fire moreover while soldering if hot solder falls on any substance such as wood or cloth or near a flammable substance that can also trigger a fire therefore keep all the flammable substances away and consider using a metallic board like this on which solder can fall besides while soldering also wear a set of safety goggles so that the hot solder should not splash in your eyes moreover this soldering wire is mostly made of lead and lead is a carcinogenic substance which can cause cancer therefore do not snack while you solder and at the same time always make sure to wash your hands two three times before touching food or trying to touch something important okay let us talk about the differences between soldering station and soldering iron first thing being the structure physical structure the soldering iron is just a piece of iron which looks like a screwdriver and it can be plugged directly into your wall outlet soldering station on the other hand plugs into the wall outlet and feeds the power into the soldering power supply which is nothing but a step down transformer and a pwm controller and that feeds low ac voltage into this particular soldering tip soldering tip second soldering iron only comes as iron itself whereas in a soldering station you may also get a stand you may get a sponge and some models include a brass tip cleaner too in terms of the power supply to both of these things the soldering iron has a heating element which directly takes in the mains power of 220 volts or 110 volts and directly heats up the heating element the soldering station on the other hand passes the mains voltage through a step down transformer and reduces it to a lower ac voltage the lower ac voltage results in a very high current thus causing the tip to be heated in a much more efficient manner and reducing power wastage and increasing flexibility with the soldering station a soldering iron always has a constant temperature like example this 30 watt soldering iron could be up to 250 degrees or 300 degrees whereas a 60 watt soldering iron can go more up to 450 or 500 degrees and it varies between models and varies between a lot of aspects altogether the soldering station on the other hand has a certain range of temperature even if the power is related with same this 45 watt soldering station of mine starts off at 200 degrees and can go to a temperature of 450 degrees thus making it very ideal for industrial use things such as ic's will work best at 250 or 300 degrees while if you want to solder on batteries then 400 degrees is an optimum temperature a quick caution here never try to solder on lithium batteries because at temperatures as low as 50 degrees they could start a fire okay let's jump into the answer to the most asked question how is a soldering station more superior compared to a soldering iron well let me tell you the true facts about this the first thing is optimized heating like I said, the soldering station has a step down transformer which steps the mains voltage down to a lower voltage and provides a higher current. Current is important for heating substances. Thus, when your tip is heated in a much more optimized manner, there are no temperature drops while soldering, thus making the soldering quality very good and also the soldering experience much better. Second, isolation, which is the most important safety aspect. The soldering iron heating element has two wires live and neutral which go into the tip and they are not at all earthed either therefore if the live wire comes out and comes in contact with the metallic part and you accidentally touch a part of the metal then you may you are directly touching mains voltage which can result in an almost fatal shock if your power supply main supply does not switch off in time 
Whereas that fear is totally eliminated with a soldering station because the transformer inside provides a proper isolation as long as it's a good quality soldering station. Third, the soldering irons tend to have tips that get decolorized very fast and the formation of oxides causes the tip to blacken fast because of which the soldering quality decreases as time passes. Particularly if you have to have your tip switched on for a long period of time, it really causes damage to the soldering tip. Whereas the soldering station on the other hand, no matter how long it's powered, tends to have significantly less damage and thus there's a much more durable option. You can avoid the problems of constantly having to chisel and sand your soldering tips. Now the question arises as to whether a soldering station is actually important and should you get an iron or a station, which one to get? Well, the question depends on what you do. If you do small scale electronics such as making toys, making toy cars, toy boards, and if you're a beginner, then a soldering iron would be okay. Or even if you want to repair very small appliances like uh, inexpensive torch lights, inexpensive radios, then soldering iron is just as good. But if you want to work on slightly expensive things such as expensive electronics, or if you want to work on devices which are like really devices such as power banks and most big devices which require very efficient soldering job without even small mistakes, then I recommend that you have to get a soldering station for this. Before we conclude, let me give you a few tips for soldering. While soldering, always make sure to tin your tips with a bit of lead. Add a bit of lead and then immediately dip it in your brass tip cleaner or even an iron tip cleaner. Whenever you see unnecessary oxidation or dirt on the tip of the iron, use this wet sponge to immediately remove the dirt. Secondly, use flux because flux is good for getting a good solder. Flux helps eat away the oxidation and thus then and now periodically dip your tip in the flux while you're soldering, while you're soldering on any equipment. Besides, for your solder, even though it's unsafe for it, the environment, I still recommend using lead solder, 6040 rosin core lead solder. I repeat, 6040 rosin core lead solder. It consists of 60% of stannum, 40% of lead, and at the same time, it has a rosin core. Rosin core inside the soldering uh, wire helps eat away your oxidation further, thus prevent making your soldering experience the most pleasant experience so i would like to conclude for the video for today thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned stay tuned be safe while soldering but at the same time have fun thank you see you in the next video like comment share and subscribe